Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is someone who's showing up as being very in their head. You know, they are overthinking a situation. They're actually thinking quite negatively. I'm seeing this person can't escape their thoughts. They're, they're expecting something bad to happen. They could also be plagued by feelings of guilt um, and anxiety. It's like they're suffering here in silence because this is not something they're showing to the world. This is more like they're losing sleep over this. They can't sleep because there's something that's eating up their conscience. at their conscience. There's definitely a lot of negative thoughts here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles earth energy the devil capricorn energy and the four of wands fire energy okay so there's definitely this person can't control the negative thoughts with this devil energy it's like it's really it's something they can't escape and um they feel like they don't have control over the situation um they feel like they're being made to wait even though they would like to move forward um, your connection to this person at this time, it could be put on pause by the universe intentionally because if you and this person were to connect, you could have a relationship with the four of wands being here, but it could manifest as a toxic relationship with the devil being there simply because someone mentally, emotionally, they're not healthy right now. Uh, the devil is showing they could be codependent, they could be having addiction issues, obsessive thoughts, um, obsessiveness with this devil energy. It's a very unhealthy way of relating to people. Um, and they really want to control the situation. But for whatever reason, it looks like something is on pause here. So with the Seven of Pentacles, they're being made to wait and this is torture for them. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Aries. Okay, so we have the five of cups in the reverse and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this could be someone you've already dealt with in some way here you guys this connection could have never really fully manifested to that four of wands which is like a defined committed relationship or a happy relationship a healthy relationship it could have been like a friendship that was going in that direction but never really got to that or you know someone sabotaged the relationship or they could have even betrayed you in some way with the devil being there um but there was something about this connection that um wasn't healthy so even if it was a relationship it wasn't a healthy one and with the five of cups you may have chosen to move on from this for now or permanently but there's this feeling of letting letting it go because it was a disappointment you're looking at it as if it was like a emotional loss okay so let's see okay we have the temperance sagittarius energy we're having the full card aquarius energy and the moon in the reverse pisces energy yeah, it looks like you freed yourself from the situation. This person could have deceived you at some point or there's just something about a lack of clarity or illusions, deception with the moon here. And with the full card, it's like you, you freed yourself from that. You dropped this baggage um, and you may have taken a new direction or that's how you're being viewed. You're being seen as moving towards something or someone else. And um, it's causing someone a lot of pain. Like they are, they feel like they don't have control. You know, they feel like they don't have a grip on you and that you're freeing yourself. Um, so I do see this person, they're controlling ways could have actually what's been what sabotaged the connection. Um, the temperance is here, which is again, being made to wait. So like they, they may not even have access to you anymore. So they feel like they can't 
uh, control or, you know, take the action that they want to take. So it's making them very anxious here. Um, but with the temperance, there's a very healing energy here. You may be embarking on a new journey here that's going to be very healing for you. You may be opening yourself up to new people, new opportunities, um, or just even just a playfulness to life here. Um, but with the temperance, it's like you are healing from something. There's this feeling of being kind, gentle with yourself and freeing yourself here. Yeah, this does look like a connection that may have been karmic. Um, it may have been meant to come as some sort of a lesson, a divine kind of connection here. And um, with the temperance and the seven of pentacles, it may not be completely done here, but the cycle, this phase of this connection is done. So th there may be a point where you reconnect with this person at some point in the future, but this would be when they are a completely different version of themselves. It's like this devil energy would be completely out of this situation by then it looks like you're not really even anticipating ever reconnecting with this person but the, the possibility is here okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um aries Okay, we have nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon so yeah it looks like for now this connection is being put on pause it looks like it's a form of protection divine protection um but with this card it's like it's still it's not permanent it looks like a time out okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you aries have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so you guys may need to go on your individual journeys first taking time to um, explore learning to love yourself putting pouring into your own cup here yeah. okay so i'm gonna put another card for you We have love at first sight and proud spirit. When I saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew. So this could be a connection that, you know, started off quite quickly, quite passionately. Um, there could have even been that feeling of instant, uh, like familiarity with the devil being there, like a karmic kind of connection. Um, but at the same time, certain red flags may have been missed. So there may be a need here to, you know, really put yourself first for now and, um, you know, going on to do you. Um, because there's, there's this full energy. It's like you're divinely protected and being guided in a different direction for now. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Aries. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So there's a need to surrender control in the situation. Um, it does look like um, everything is working out, it, you know, the way it's supposed to. You may not know the, the big picture of the situation, but there's a need to really trust spirit and uh, the universe here yeah, because with the full card and the temperance card these are divine cards is showing you are divinely protected and you're on the right track okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries